The Mali central government has been battling the Al-Shabaab militant group for more than a decade. There are more than 14,000 African Union troops still helping safeguard different parts of Somalia, even as the drawdown continues. Meanwhile, the Somali government has submitted official requests to stop the drawdown of 3,000 peacekeepers for a period of three months. According to the UN Security Council resolutions, the peacekeepers were expected to exit the country by the end of September, before the mission's full exit by the end of the year. Mohamed Kahia has the details from Mogadishu. The Somali government has made an official request for three months on what it describes as technical pause of the ongoing African Union troops drawdown. The request was submitted by the Office of the National Security to UN Security Council. The Somali government says the technical pause will safeguard the hard and peace and stability in the country, following some setbacks in the front line during the ongoing military offensive against Al-Shabaab. According to the existing agreement in line with UN Security Council resolutions, all Atmis peacekeepers should exit Somalia by end of next year while gradually transferring the security responsibilities to Somali armed forces. The Somali forces have made some significant gains during the last nine months of military operations against Al-Shabaab, which saw President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud camp at various front lines. However, the lack of modern military hardware is becoming a big challenge following UN Security Council's arms embargo. Somali Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barre is among world leaders gathered at UN General Assembly in New York. He conducted various sideline meetings, including one with Antonio Guterres, in an effort to lobby for lifting of the arms embargo. Hamid Kahi, CGT in Mogadishu, Somalia.